Hey everyone, Matt here on the Vinyl Head UK channel and we are back with another record in my collection for you guys to check out and for me to share with you. It's a record that I've been very excited about. It only got released on Friday, April the 30th for those watching in the future some point. Um, and it's by one of my favourite bands. There's a big hint right here who it is. It's the new Gajira record. I was so excited to get it. It's only just arrived with me in the last day. I've managed to get a couple of listens in. Um, I've been listening to it on my phone as well, but it doesn't beat vinyl. So Gajira Fortitude, their seventh studio album. And here it is, my first Gajira album on vinyl. So I'm very excited about that as well. As I say, it's only just arrived with me. So it's in very good condition. It's definitely not second hand. They would have had it for like a day and then sold it on. So it's brand new, it's in real good condition. I'm really happy. Um, so Gajira are a French band. I believe the word Gajira is French for Godzilla. Um, but yeah, they're a French band. I've sort of been a fan since From Mars to Sirius. That for me is the definitive Gajira record. If you're new to Gajira, go and check out that record. That is a, a fantastic album. Um, Heaviest Matter of the Universe was the first Gajira track I heard. It was on a compilation album that I got with, uh, uh, I think it was Metal Hammer magazine back in 06, maybe, something like that. So not a Gajira OG as such. There was a couple of albums that came out prior to From Mars to Sirius, but that is the one that hooked me in and I haven't looked back since. So they, as I say, it's a French band. They're kind of, many people describe Gajira in many different styles. Death metal, progressive metal, various other ones as well. Um, but they're heavy and I like heavy. So let's talk about this one. So Gajira, um, they're made up of, so we, let me get these right. This is test my French names out. So we have Joe Duplantier who is the vocalist and guitarist. His brother Mario is the drummer. Christian Andro, I hope I got that right, on guitars. And then Jean-Michael Labadie. Again, I hope I've got that right. My French name pronunciation might not be quite on point. And he's on bass. So that makes up Gajira. It's been the same lineup pretty much throughout, which is nice, the consistency with the four of them as well. But yeah, so Fortitude, I like the artwork. It's, there is tracks on there about the Amazon and deforestation within the Amazon. Gajira in the past have covered environmental issues and conservation issues as well. Um, Toxic Garbage Island is one that springs to mind. A few albums back about an island in the ocean that is just rubbish and plastic and it's just created a, this huge island of, of rubbish. So environmentalism has always been on Gajira's mind, which I think is cool. It's not really something that you hear metal bands talk about. But this artwork to me looks like some form of Amazonian chief. I think it's cool. I like the logo. Can you see that? It's almost like Gajira in a very laxy black metal logo style. You see these black metal bands and you can't really read the logo because it's just scribbled in the nicest way possible. And it kind of looks like that. Maybe there's more meaning to that. Maybe it's Gajira with life coming out of it, giving life and the roots to the Amazon. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I like artwork and I like lyrics because 
it's your own interpretation. You don't always have to follow what everyone else interprets it, interprets it at. Get my words out. Um, especially with lyrics, you can take lyrics and they can mean something completely different to somebody else. And I like that. It can give personal meaning to each person. On the back, we have our track listing, which I will read out in a moment. Um, it was actually produced, I've just noticed, by Joe Duplantier as well. So vocalist and guitarist there. And this was put out by Roadrunner, uh, Gajira's label. It was recorded in New York at the Silver Chord Studio, which I think is where previous Gajira records have been recorded. And I think it's quite a heavy one for the brothers, Mario and Joe. Uh, they lost their mum prior to this album, and I think the writing process was focused on that as well. I've said in other videos, I don't want to review it as such. I just want to talk about it, enjoy this record and the music that comes out of it. Let's look inside. White paper sleeve, it's coming. It's quite heavy. I think it's 180 grams. It feels it. It's quite a sturdy record. This is side A. Um, we can see just a heart, similar concept on the art as on the artwork itself. And then similar again, you can see a smaller heart with a track listing either side. Nothing really more to it than that. Simplistic, no label or anything as in record label on it there. And then also inside, we have lyrics. Now it looks to me like it could be the Amazon River. Um, so we have up to Sphinx. I'll read the track list in a sec. Um, on one side, and then it's a different color, the other side, and the rest of the lyrics. And then we have a little picture of a band and produced and credits and thank yous and, and all the normal stuff who endorses them. But I like the lyrics looking like they're handwritten. I like that personal touch. You don't see it so much with bands these days. There's even some crossings out. So it looks and feels very personal. It, it feels like a personal, almost letter. Written, um, I'm guessing maybe by Joe, I don't know. But it's cool. I like the handwritten side to it. It does make it quite personal. Let's put it back in and slide it in. Um, track listing, we'll flip it over. It doesn't break it up for side A and side B. So I'm gonna go on memory. So apologies if I get it wrong, I think. I've got it, is Born For One Thing, Amazonia, Another World, Hold On, Newfound, and Fortitude make up A, and then B has the Chant, Sphinx, Into the Storm, The Trails, and Grind. I think that is correct on uh, how it is split. So one thing I will say about this one, it's quite quiet. I'm going to put it down to this. I had to do a pretty thorough clean on it. I had to really give it a very thorough clean. It came with quite a lot of little bits of what looked like plastic, which I don't understand so much because it was in the paper sleeve. Um, but yes, it was a lot of stuff on it. So I gave it a real good clean. There was still a little bit of surface noise, mainly on side A more than B. B played better, I found. Um, but it was quite quiet, which is a little disappointing because, you know, the Born For One Thing and Amazonia are great heavy Gajira tracks. Um, 
that heaviness and in your face, lots of double pedal um, with the drums and that. The, the quietness didn't allow it to come through so much, which was a shame. I would have liked it to come through and been a kick in the face. You probably noticed on some of my other videos, I like to feel my metal kick me in the face as such. Didn't really feel it on this. Side B felt a little different. It Not so much surface noise and it felt a little louder. So maybe I just need to go back and clean A a little bit more thoroughly and see how we get on from that. But it's another solid album by Gajira. My favourite tracks, Born For One Thing and Amazonia, as I mentioned, are great, heavy Gajira tracks. There's a riff on Amazonia. It goes dun, 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 something like that. Paraphrasing my riffs a bit. Something like that. And it's heavy. And it sounds so good. I can't wait to hear that live. Newfound on side A is another great heavy track. I'm favouring the heavier stuff on this. Into the Storm. That track, let me tell you, that track is made for arenas. They have been playing arenas over here in the UK, mainly as a support um, to other bands that they've toured with, but I hope that they start to ascend up to doing their own headline arena tours. I prefer club shows, like academy size shows, more personal and arena. You just get a bit lost with arena bands sometimes, but I think Gajira are pushing up there. Um, it'd be interesting to see what happens. It looks like it's going to be a top 10 record in the UK from what I've been reading. So that might help things somewhat. And then Grind, the last track, again, another heavy typical Gajira track. There are some more experimental passages in the album. Um, I read somewhere someone referring it to kind of Sepultura sounding, but I don't see that. I can only imagine they mean that in the sense of the experimental passages. Sepultura used a lot of, and still do use a lot of Brazilian sounds and sort of those South American instruments. Bear in mind they're Brazilian. Um, and I, that's all I can put it down to, maybe those different uses of instruments. Um, I don't know the instruments to hand, what what they do use. But I hear things in this album that go back to um, The Link, which was an early album. I hear stuff on this album that reminds me of From Mars to Sirius. I hear things on this album that remind me of La Font Sauvage. And even a little bit of Magna, the last album. Magma, even, sorry. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I love Gajira. It's very heavy, great riffs coming from this band. Um, I've seen them um, in arenas as... I say, supporting other bands, and I've seen them in very small club shows. I saw them play a show and the capacity was 300, maybe. And that was incredible. I don't think I'll ever get to see them in such a small venue again like that. Um, the guys came down at the end, got a couple of fist bumps and whatever from them. Um, but yeah, just... I think they are all constantly on the up. I thought the last album would kind of push them to arenas. Hasn't quite, maybe Fortitude will. Um, they were getting some fairly high slots on British festivals. They've headlined at Bloodstock. Brilliant UK metal festival. They were getting higher up on other bills, they played Glastonbury. That slipped under the radar. I didn't even realize I was looking at something and reading about uh, a bit on heavier bands at Glastonbury and I saw Gajira listed and wow, that really slipped under the radar. But yeah, they did Glastonbury, following Metallica's footsteps there. Um, but yeah, I do like it. it it's gonna be on rotation a lot. 
It definitely will be. It probably won't leave a record player for a little bit. I want to delve more into it. I've listened to it a couple of times through my record player on, on the vinyl itself. I listen to it a lot on my phone while I'm driving. I want to learn about the tracks more, but vinyl, this vinyl will definitely get a lot of play. It's going to get a good clean, as I say. I don't want the surface noise. I hope it clears so we can get a little bit of volume coming out of it. I don't know if surface noise, is that something that affects you guys? Tell me, does the surface, if dust and various things, does that affect the volume at all? Um, I'm not sure on that. Help me out on that one. Let me know. Um, but it will get a lot of play. It's my first Gajira vinyl. First of seven. Uh, more than seven because I'd look to get the live stuff as well. There's a few live, a couple of live records out there that I'd like to pick up as well. I'm hoping they have a bit more volume to them. Especially from Mars to Sirius. Tracks like Backbone and The Heaviest Matter of the Universe deserve um, a lot of volume for those double kicks, especially, and those riffs. But yeah, Fortitude, Gajira, a fantastic French band. If you haven't heard of these guys or you haven't really gone to check them out, please do. Um... I don't care where you start, start somewhere. You will be impressed. Every album is great. Even from Terra Incognita, the very first album, all the way through to Fortitude. They don't let you down. They're reliable, they're a fantastic band. They're taking a the world by storm. Gajira, Fortitude, my latest vinyl, really happy to have it. Go and subscribe, hit the like, comment, Hopefully you can help me out on some of the questions that I have put out there. But until the next video, take care. Listen to vinyl, listen to metal. Have fun.